everyone welcome to the study hacks institute of gis and remote sensing today i will introduce a very important web application on google earth engine so mainly using this web application you can easily get all of those visitation indices globally and you can easily uh, get the lot of opportunities or you can get the lot of options on this web application first of all you can easily uh, draw a polygon suppose you can easily draw a agricultural field or cropland and then you can easily uh, select your satellite images suppose you need the sentinel one to calculating the different types of indices or sentinel two you can easily select that then you can easily select your time period suppose uh, summer season rainy season or different types of time you can simply select and after that you can easily select your index which you want to need also you can easily select your band image band which you want to need then it will be uh, show the listen on your skin for each index as well as you can also get the satellite which you used and also you can create the chart for that graphic three different chart or graph which mean the minimum maximum and average value between this selected time date as well as you can easily export the file for creating the select date trends so basically in this web application i add all of those things such as sentinel 2 uh, you can easily export b1 b2 all of those band you can easily export as well as also you can see there are a lot of indices such as you can see ari ar ari2 arvi so all of those things different types of index we can also see the b and dvi ci dvi as well as evi evi2 gari also you can see about their formula all of those uh, indices also you can see there's a lot of things we are combining in one web application so that anyone can easily calculate all of those global vegetation index at the same time in google earth engine platform here you can see also about that a lot of things you can see there are the different types of indices we can easily add in here so that's why you can easily easily calculate all of those web application uh, using this available you can easily calculate all of these indices also you can say leaf area index so there's a lot of things we can try to add in this web application so that's why it's very helpful for the different types of uh, work for the remote sensing as well as also crop health monitoring as well as also use the different types of temporal changes for the different types of indices you can easily do using this also you can see the moisture stress index msi so here I add all of those web application in my uh, Google Earth Engine application. Also, you can see NDVI, MNDVI, OSAVI. Also, you can see about that. Okay. So all of those visitation index we try to add in this web application. So that's why it's very user friendly for any uh, agriculturist or other types of work who want to need to identify the crop health. So it's very important for that for identify the crop health. Okay. So also you can see that we are also try to add here the sub sentinel one band in this time. So now let's go to the web application and show you without how it will be work. So here you can see this is the web application user interface. So this is the web application user interface. So from this web application, you can easily uh, select your study area or select your crop uh, field. Okay. Suppose here you can say I simply select this uh, boundary. So this is the boundary about that. I simply select my uh, boundary. And now from here, we can easily identify about that uh, where we can find out the good mainly in this time I selected the leaf area index so now it's about the leaf area index so mainly leaf area index is identify about that crop health we can easily do that so mainly this time it's about that this type of things you can see there is a no crop plant or it's very bad about that and the green pixel value this type of green pixel value identify about that um good vegetation or good crop land about that not only for that if you want you can simply uh, select your sensor which sensor you want to use suppose you can say I added the sentinel 2 and sentinel 1 so under the sentinel to all of those index you can easily get from here you can see all of those index in here so aerosol blue band green band red infrared band near infrared band short of infrared band so as well as also other types of index such as b and dvi ci dvi evi evi2 gri G. so there's a lot of index we try to add in here that's it's very useful you can easily calculate or you can easily monitor the different types of index at the same time using this web application as well as also you can see about that you can easily get the time series chart such as you can see in this time it show about the leaf area index uh for how you can easily get the minimum uh, it's the average time series chart between this time period you can also select the time period from here your specific time period 
or a specific crop plantation time period you can simply set up in here suppose you can simply click on here and then simply put your time period about the start time period and in time period and you can easily monitor the crop health as well as also other types of index you can easily monitor so here you can see about that now it show about that the average condition of the leaf area index for this time period also you can get that minimum also you can get about that a maximum time series chart about the leaf area index so you can easily get the temporal changes also you can get the different types of graphic using this web application so it's very easily you can easily use it uh and simply you can simply suppose you want to observe about the what is the condition about the crop field so for that just simply click on the select your area and then simply select your study area suppose this is my study area i simply draw a polygon on this study area and now for that you simply select your sensor which sensor you want to use so here you can the sentinel one and sentinel two i want to use the sentinel two click on here and then which index you want to monitor here you can see there is a lot of index about that suppose which index you want to need simply select that suppose if i simply select and then you can simply select your time period suppose i need the time period for year of uh, 2023 month of january so select the month of january and also i select here the in date year of 2023 month of january date to uh, 31 and then after that run it so now it uh, visualize about that what is the condition for a uh, leaf area uh, enhanced vegetation index as well as also show about that uh, your um, time series chart about that you can get the uh, um, average time series chart about that also you can see about that we can get about that uh, maximum time series chart and also get about that minimum time series chart okay as well as you can simply click on here and then you can simply uh custom you can simply set here the state 98 percent then we also get the what is the mean and max value about the evi enhanced vegetation index for this study area the for this crop land or agricultural land then apply so now we are also get the bit, uh, better visualization for that uh, crop land we can easily identify about that this type of green color this type of green color identify about the good enhanced vegetation index and red color identify about the low value and um, you always the middle about that so in this time from here you can easily identify this type of green pixel will identify about that a uh, good enhanced vegetation index mainly good vegetation and red this type of red identify about the bad vegetation so using this way you can easily calculate or you can easily get all of those indices at the same time and you can easily use it and then monitor the crop health as well also crop uh, uh, ph phenological model you can also do for that also use it I can also monitor the crop status for the different time and also check about the crop so it's very useful uh who anyone if you need this type of web application you can simply contact in my whatsapp number you can also contact with my email then you can easily get this type of uh, source code and you can easily use this web application for your own study area and you can easily get this type of uh, mini uh, mean minimum chart also maximum chart and so you can get the average chart for this all of those indices Okay, so here we add the lot of indices so that's why it's very useful you can easily get all of the indices at the same time as well as sentinel one simply select the sentinel one then you can get the, all of the sentinel indices suppose the vv vs rvi dfi svi so a lot of things we can easily get from here and you can easily use it to get the global e you can easily use and you can easily get that uh the you can easily identify about the crop health monitoring using this application so today is no more if you want to need this type of OV application simply contact i will give you all of those details so that you can easily get it okay and in the meantime i also give you an announcement about our upcoming online training program which will be uh start from the 12th january so basically this class will be start from the 12th january and admission last is the 11th january okay and uh first 10 registered people will get the 50 percent discount on this online training program so basically this online training program we are focused only for the beginners who don't have any knowledge about that programming or who don't have any knowledge about the google earth engine platform so after completing this online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis using this platform so mainly we try to cover land use land cover mapping land use land cover change detection as well as air quality monitoring time series analysis calculating any indices supervised classification unsupervised classification lot of machine learning method we try to discuss in here as well also ndva change detection and lot of things we try to cover in this online training program so here you can see about the all of the course content for the first day second day which we try to discuss third day fourth day fifth day sixth day and seventh day it's total seven days online training program each day 
you get the total three hours live training program okay so in this time when you want to join this online training program you also get the some benefits such as you can easily get the course certificate after submitting all of those assignments you can get all of those material slide pdf all of this practice code you can also easily access and use it and you can get the recorded class also suppose you miss any live training session you can easily cover it using the recorded video class and you also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginner so when you want to learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problem okay so that's why you need the continuous support so that's why after completing the seven days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue regarding this online training program you can easily get the feedback or you can easily get the solution about this problem so that's why it also is smoothly you can easily learn the google earth engine platform properly and uh, if you want to join this online training program simply contact in this whatsapp number or you can contact with this email then you can easily registration after registration you can easily join in our google classroom and also join our whatsapp group from that you can easily get all of those things for the upcoming update okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay safe stay happy